Welcome, this is Shane here, Guitar at Work. Welcome back to another video. Um, I'm Capo 3 for Landslide. Landslide by Fleetwood Mac. A wonderful song, essential classic, essential finger picking song for sure. Um, if you've already gone through Dust in the Wind, you're going to find some similarities, also some differences. Um, uh, either, either way, whichever song you're starting with, be it Landslide or Dust in the Wind, uh, they're both going to serve you very well. It doesn't really matter which one you start with. Um, again, Capo 3, so you can play along at home. Um, and I'm going to start uh, with the right hand pattern here. I'm going to start with the right hand pattern. Um, remember, if uh, on your sheets, I hope you have those sheets in front of you at home, um, there's a little line that we call a stem going down underneath the note. Uh, that's your, that means your right hand thumb. So the very first note in your pattern is going to, I'm going to use open strings so we don't wear out your left hand here. I'm going to go thumb right there. You'll notice the next note, uh, there's a one written over top. That's asking you to use the first finger right there like that. Just like that. And thumb, I'll start from the top again. Here's thumb and first. Like that. Now there's another thumb. Here's your alternating basses call where your thumb is going to do double duty and they're under the D string like that. So we've got three notes so far. I've got thumb, one, thumb, and now your second finger, finger number two, is going to play the B string. That's the first half of the pattern, and actually it's most of the pattern because you'll find uh, it's mostly going to repeat with one little, one little item of difference there. So here, top again, thumb, one, thumb, and two, like that. Uh, try to get that nailed. I've drawn an imaginary bar line just to break it up visually on your sheet. So you've got the first notes, I'll do it one more time, thumb, one, thumb, two. Now the second half starts out just the same way. Here's your thumb again. Thumb, one, thumb. Now I've circled this last note. It's not the same as the first half of the pattern. It's going to go to G. Boom. So that's the only difference in the second half. Uh, second half of the pattern again now does this. Thumb, one, thumb, two. Good. I hope you're getting a good close up of that. The entire pattern is this. We're going thumb, one, thumb, two. Second half of the pattern. Thumb, one, thumb, one. Let's do that a couple times together. You may have to pause or shut the video off altogether just to get that going. We haven't added a left hand yet. We don't want to wear you out down here. So we're going again from the top. Three, four, going thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one, thumb, one. Let's just do one more of those. Here it comes. Thumb, one, thumb, two. Thumb, one, thumb, one. There we are. So that is your right hand pattern for the verse. There's only two sections really. There's a verse and a chorus. Uh, that's going to work in your verse section, which is also your intro, by the way. If we add some chords, uh, we start with the C chord. We all know and love a C chord, no problem there. And I'm going to apply that pattern ever so slowly to a C chord. And it's going to go thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one, thumb, go. Second chord is a G slash B. Look at that. G slash B. Watch out for your fingering. Second and pinky would be your most economical fingering to get you from one chord to another. Double check that at home. Second and pinky. I know it doesn't feel great at first, but uh, definitely get on there like that. And thumb is nice and low, by the way. Remember to do that. And exactly the same right hand pattern you just did on G slash B. Thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one. The next chord is an A minor 7th. Uh, it's just like an A minor, but we remove the 3rd finger. That's your ring finger. So A minor shape, remove that ring finger, and let's apply exactly the same pattern with your right hand. Here it comes. Thumb, 1, thumb, 2, thumb, 1, thumb, 1. Great. And we're heading back to G slash B. You already know that guy. Again, double check your fingering on that. That's important. Second and pinky. Uh, at the speed this song goes, you want every advantage for sure. And this is your most, again, your most economical move. Uh, here's your G slash B. Three, four, and a thumb. One, thumb, two, thumb, one, thumb, one. Okay, that's all you're going to need for uh, the verse section, also the intro. Let me play it through. Four chords, and it just goes round and round and round. Here's a C, medium kind of tempo. Three, four, thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one, thumb, G slash B. A minor seven. And a G slash B. 
go. Uh, very important to draw to, uh, to your attention. I've circled the last note in the pattern, you may notice. Um, that's trying to tell you that the last note in every single pattern is an open string. In this case, it's the open G string. Um, what, what that means is when you're trying to play it quickly, it's very difficult to change chords to get there right on time. So you have uh, that note gives you a little bit of time. Here it comes right here. Last note in the pattern, I'll be in motion. Hands free, so to speak. Ah, to get to my G slash B on time. Now, same thing applies here. Last note's an open string. Ah, I get to that. Gives me a second to get to that G slash B. And same here. A minor seven back to G slash B. There you go. Good. So at a quicker tempo, you really do need that. So if I do this, go, go, go. People often ask, what's the emphasis? There's an emphasis on the fourth note. Uh, that's a detail thing. You don't have to worry about that too much uh, um, in the very beginning. Just get your right hand pattern going against those four chords and play it slowly at first. We're, dip we're trying to keep these videos short, so I'm going pretty quickly there. Um, make sure that your right hand doesn't get hyper developed, meaning uh, he might be able to go cooking on one chord. He's cooking, but then he can't change fast enough. So only play it as fast as you can. Oh, get to that next chord on time. And the right and left hands, they get better together, just like that. Um, so you may want to pause the video, stop it all together before we jump to the chorus. And just a couple of, of chords. It's the same right hand pattern, but with one little shift. Uh, the chorus begins on D7 slash F sharp. That, that chord may be new to a lot of us. D7 slash F sharp, there's a good picture of it there on your chart. And you'll notice the fingering of two, three, and one. I like that one. Some people would involve the thumb over like that. Um, I do that sometimes uh, in other songs, but in this particular song, I just seem to like that. Two, three, and one. Now the thing is, in the intro, in the verse, all of those chords had one X. The C has one X, the G slash B has one X. Remember, that means that the low E string is out of bounds, right? So now, D7 slash F sharp doesn't have any Xs. So what we have to do with the thumb is we gotta move it over to the thickest string. Whatever was happening on the A string before, uh, like on a C chord, for instance, we now have to change that to the low E to accommodate the fact that this chord has no Xs. I hope that makes sense to you. So looking at your right hand pattern, very bottom of that handwritten page there now, your thumb now begins here, thumb. Same thing with the first finger we did before, thumb one. Now your thumb crisscross is gonna to go to the D string. Thumb, here's your second finger. And that's the first half of the pattern. Let me do that again. Thumb, one, thumb, two. Now thumb, second half of the pattern, thumb, one, thumb, one. There we go. Let's do that again. D7 slash F sharp. Thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one thumb one. There you go. Now that's a, a seventh chord. It's a, sort of an unsettled sound. It's waiting to go somewhere and sure enough it's going to resolve itself to G. A special kind of G that I use here, um, I call it the finger picker's G. There's no real name to distinguish it from other G's, but that particular G uh, is used a lot in finger picking. It's one finger, you gotta like it. The open strings are involved in there. And now that will get the same pattern as your D7 slash F sharp uh, just used. Because again, there's no X's in that G chord. So I'll apply that. Here it comes. Thumb, one, thumb, two. Thumb, one, thumb, one. There we go. That's your G. Now in the song, you see your, your actual song sheet for the order of chords as they occur here in the chorus. It's now going back to D7 slash F sharp. Here it comes, three, four, same pattern. Thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one, thumb, one, there we go. And E minor makes his way into the song here. We all know an E minor, no problem there. That will get the same pattern as the G chord just did and the D7 slash F sharp. Again, no X's, thumb starting on a big fat juicy string there, three, Four, thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one, thumb. And that goes again, another E minor. Thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one, thumb. Beautiful. Now he's, they're heading back to a C here. C, just like your intro and verse was. Thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb. And I had to change my right hand to accommodate that X in the C chord. Back to G slash B. Same thing in the right hand. Thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one, thumb, one, and A minor seventh, right here again. Thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one, thumb, one. Great, now they're heading back to D7 slash F sharp. I'll go here. Thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb, one, thumb, 
wild and good, and that chorus kind of repeats at that point. Uh, let me play a chorus for you here. Uh, I'll start from the D7 slash F sharp that happens just before the chorus. It's kind of the entrance chord into the chorus. D7 slash F sharp. Heading to a G, here it comes. D7 slash F sharp. And an E minor is gonna go twice. B, A minor 7, and D7 slash F sharp, and the whole thing will repeat at that point. Um, so it's a quickie for sure, it's, uh, you know, they're cooking for sure. There's your intro and verse, I'll go to a chorus after this here, G slash B, and your chorus, G. 7 slash F sharp, E minor. So yeah, now you gotta walk before you can run, right? So um, only as fast with the right hand as you can make those changes with the left hand. Um, it always sounds so scary when you hear it uh, played so quickly, but it's just autopilot. Just practice that right hand till you, till you almost go crazy and then you own it. Oh there, and the song starts to come out of that. Uh, you may wonder where the song is when you're going slowly, and just not, it doesn't feel like the song, but you get it achieve a certain speed. Uh, okay, there it is. Picking is fun that way, is it's almost an illusion. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it helpful, and we'll see you very soon for another video. Have fun with it, eh? Bye bye.